because there was quite a few things that um, I had done uh, in Melton. However, I don't need anything right about now. Done. This gear. So they are already done as far as um, what needed done. Uh, however, I figured I'd come back and put this short video together, shorter video together on what they were. Uh, one is getting, when you're talking to old mother, you have to get her supplies. One of the things for the supplies... Okay, I, I got you here. Um, one of the things for the supplies is uh, putting stuff in a fridge as well as... Uh, this is 900, 750... Uh, filling her fridge up. And if you see up there in the corner, the fridge holds 88 pounds of food and stuff like that. Now, I don't know if this is exactly going to work because I have 45 pounds of water. However, I put all this food in here for her because she needed, I think it was 12 pounds of food. Um, as... The base on what you had to put in the fridge. Now, the other thing would have been um, her fireplace. Again, with her um, the fire box, anyways. The wind is so loud, the storm going outside, it's hard to think. Um, the firebox outside, I think it is 122, we'll see in just a minute, uh, pounds. Uh, she only needed, I think it was like 20-some pounds of uh, supplies to get her through the winter, so to speak. Uh, granted, I put a bunch of newspapers and books some sticks and stuff like that wasn't really that much 132 pounds now I've since then I have 48 sticks in here I have some cedar firewood however I was told that if you fill these completely fill them that you will get something from Grey Mother for fully stocking her. So, putting 88 pounds of food in the fridge and a 132 pounds of firewood in the box, she'll give you something else. I don't know exactly. So, that is kind of what it is, but I'm going to do that anyways. I already had started in on that. I've been working on that slowly. Now, well, I find something to eat? Yeah, you'll get it here in a minute. We've got some peaches.
the other thing in putting food in the fridge and doing that was supply caches. There was three supply caches, emergency supply caches, uh, which I had already got, like I said. It just... Um, stuff that I had not found. I Aha, there's the objective. So, I actually did not see that before, but uh, my friend was right. That's what it is. Uh, so, the side one extra supplies. So, I need to add extra food to Grey Mother's fridge 20,000 calories. And add extra fuel to Grey Mother's wood bin, another 36 pounds. 36 hours, probably, is what that means. Now, the other things I had done were Milton safety deposit box keys, got all those. Um, we turned in the pearls. The Milton supply caches I had done, and the highway robbery. Uh, the highway robbery. I'm not going to walk clear back up there, but I will show you. The highway robbery, what you do is, here at the Orca gas station, you walk inside, and when you get inside the door, it opens up, there's the cash register that would be on this side here, and a little convenience store where Methuselah was sitting, say, like right here. Um, but you walk in through, walk around, walk clear in the back, and back in the back room to the right hand side be a computer desk and a mattress laying on the floor and a few other things on the mattress there is a pastime on the mattress there is a um, note, we'll say, and I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Yeah, I understand, but so the note that was left. Let me check something here before I put this in. Extra supplies, eight thousand. We need to add 20,000. I've been so hungry in my life. Okay, so... That doesn't count. Water does not count. It'll fill up the fridge, but it doesn't actually count as calories. Uh, in the highway robbery, though, like I was saying, you get that note, and it'll direct you to a supply cache uh, up north, where I had already been. You go clear up this road, past the church and the graveyard, go clear, just follow the road. You have to go off the road a couple times, like the trailer is about here, uh, so you have to kind of like, you can stop at the trailer sleep, do that kind of stuff, and you'll have to go kind of around, and you kind of have to go around this way. But up here at this bridge, it's Spruce Falls Bridge. It's marked now as a location. You'll actually see the little, the bridge supports up there in the pickup truck. I think it was episode five, uh, where I'd forgotten my sleeping bag in this cave, and I traveled up here to the truck, and a storm came, and I got inside the truck. It's the first blue pickup truck on that bridge. You look in the back, uh, the bed of the truck, and you'll find the cache. Now, the cache had uh, two peanut butters in it, two peanut butter jars in it. As well, it had this ragged military coat. <clears throat> it also had... A brand new distress pistol, 
four flare shells. And I don't know why I have all these recycled cans. And I'm pretty sure it had a sewing kit in it. So I have three sewing kits again. So it wasn't a bad haul. Um, all in all, it was pretty decent little cash. That is the highway robbery. Uh, that's all you have to do. Pretty much. Um, now the extra supplies. Yeah, you grab here. Start sticking stuff in the fire bin. Um, I'm going to put some stuff... take out the water because I can't trans. carry this any further. Yeah, I know you can't. You're actually stuck in place. Don't worry because we're going to drop all that water. I was hoping that water would fill it up, but oh well. tea that has a lot of water bottles. Um, so, extra supplies. Got 9,950 in there. Um, add extra fuel to Great Mother's Wood Bin. I'm going to see if we can put some tea in here. If the tea will work. I'm going to keep the birch bark tea because that's a lot of good. Yep, tea works too. So, do this a number of different ways. I'm going to keep the condensed milk. And I'm going to take the coffee out too because I'm pretty sure the coffee has calories. Transfer all that in there now. I'm going to take this off because we don't need it. Cooking pot. We're going to cook. Oh, okay. So... Go over in this corner and drop this. So we don't need it. We got plenty of water. See if we can cook condensed milk down, heat it up, get a little bit of a bonus for warmth. So, yeah, the highway robbery. Oh my god, the storm's over, I can think. So, yeah, the highway robbery, like I said, all you do is go down to the Orca gas station, go in the back where the bed uh, mattress is in the floor, pick up a little note, and it'll direct you to the bridge. The extra supply note is right here on the couch after. You give her the original supplies. 
Then go back over here, pick up this note will be here, pick it up, and it'll say, put more calories in the fridge, put more hours or pounds of uh, burnable materials in the fire bin, which should be easy enough. 36 pounds, we're going to go pick up a bunch of books and all kinds of stuff. Take that. Take that now. Cook. See if we can do... Nope. Okay. So, I'm going to do herbal tea again. Cook herbal tea. So hungry. Oh no. Eat a can of dusty condensed milk. It's 750 calories. It's about a little more. Yeah, about a third of the way. So... And on that, we are going to put tea. There we go. We're going to put this herbal tea in there. Got one more thing of herbal tea. we got a bunch of coffee we're going to stick in there and do that. I could do that up here, I suppose, if I had everything going. But... <coughs> Items we're gonna drop for the moment. Uh, can we get them out of here? Are an uncured wolf pelt. I drop scrap metal. Drop all my rabbit hides. Drop these deer hides. going to drop these hatchets here. We're also going to drop the tool kit, the lantern, keep my bedroll on me. Uh, the potable water, we'll drink some of that. Probably ready. Uh, something else heavy. Nothing else really heavy. So, there's all our gear there. That wolf pelt is 57% cured. That's 110, uh, 110. Not much, but turn just coffee beans, coffee grounds into calories for the fridge. So she'll have plenty to, to eat in here. I didn't see that. this. Okay, and we'll do that. Now, I'm honestly looking at these. I put them in at about the same time. There's four minutes difference. I guarantee that that's the worst pot and that's the better pot. Um, just something about that seems that way. So, like I said, this is all our gear. 57% cured. All these deer hides are cured and whatnot. The rabbit pelts are cured. Um, <clears throat> this is probably not the best way to get food and whatnot, but it is what it is. Uh, so...
how much do we have now? Uh, a snare of rabbit. We're going to have to do that too, which 9,990 calories. So we'll have about halfway there for that. Uh, we'll go out, get some rabbits, get some meat, cook it up, stick it in there. And stuff her fridge full of rabbit meat. So, she'll be all good to go. See if she has anything to say. Nope, not yet. Alright, well while this is cooking, I will... The Highway Robbery... Highway robbery, what you get in the Orca gas station. <clears throat> hey bud, sorry to leave you hanging like this with the storm and the power and everything. But it sounds like it's all gone to hell at the upper bridge tonight. Cars broken down, a mess. And some rich mainlander won't budge from his truck. Probably thinks we're all a bunch of bandits waiting to rip him off. Usual story. Anyway, me and Jason are going up there to see if we can talk some sense into him before the storm gets even worse. I'll sort you out in the morning. Thanks, Peter. That's the note that gives you the highway robbery. You can get in the back of the truck. Um, the winter forecast, uh, the extra supply little mini condition on what you picked up, picking up supplies for Grey Mother. Winter forecast, weather warning. Heavy snow and record low temperatures expected. Scrawled in handwriting below. She won't like it one bit, but we'll need to check on her. Someone has to. So, that's that. Alright, so I'm keeping the rest of them for myself. I do not know why or where I'm picking up all these cans from. Just dead weight. I don't need all those. <laughs> so these are all the supplies we're taking with us when we actually leave Milton. We are going to go raid some houses because we need stuff for firewood. We also need to find some food, extra supplies. We got a little bit more than halfway. Actually, 27.4 out of 36 pounds. So, best option for me is to go raid some of these houses and get some uh, reclaimed wood. Yeah, we know. So 
I am not going to be able to see anything in here. It's like really dark. So. I'll light a flare. I'll do that. We got plenty of planks. Take some stacks of papers. So that'll show. To find food. Can't break down the ladder. All right, that's about it. Now, the supply caches um, are fairly easy to find. Uh, if you're going through vehicles and, and things like that, you will find them. Uh, except one. It's at the school. And that one was really, really difficult to find. Um, I actually talked to one of my friends and say, hey... Where is it located? He's like, at the school. It still took me probably a good ten minutes to find it. Um, the first supply cash note is going to be right here on the floor in this car. Right here. Alright. And it reads... Hey girl, that grumpy jerk at Orca left the back door open, so I snuck in and took some stuff. I thought we might need it for when we get out of here. I can't wait to get over to the mainland with you, where we can finally be together, for real. I'll meet you there tomorrow night like we planned. I stashed the stuff near that big fallen tree in the marshy area behind St. Christopher's. You know, where we met that one time and drank your dad's contraband. So once you pick it up, it will get inside. It will direct you uh, to right behind St. Christopher's Church. And if you walk up to the church, uh, the front door to the church will actually be walk up the road. And you're looking at the front door. And all you do is go to the left-hand side of the front door, walk along, and it'll be about right here, give or take. Uh, not very far, you'll just walk behind, there'll be a cache back here. A little, like a waterproof box with an orange lid on it. in the dark. I'm in the complete dark. <laughs> We're going to pass some time. I could eat a horse. I'm still in complete darkness. I'll use another one of my flares. Feels like an empty pit. So how many 
pounds of reclaimed wood do we have? We have four pounds of reclaimed wood. <clears throat> can burn books, so books should work for I'm doing books and newspapers. So those flares ran out. We are going to do that should get us to dawn. I can actually look around. Without the use of flares. Not quite. Almost. Much better. Keep using up my flares, search for wood in the dark. Anything right now. Oh, you just ate. Get a few more pieces of some wood. Got a table. Five reclaim wood. Take an hour to break that down. Uh, something smaller. I don't want to waste that much time. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. Yeah, you'll be fine.
bomb right here. Drop that stuff off. Fire bix. Firewood bin, not firebox. So we got all the extra wood. Now it's just food. I'm going to show you where to find the easiest way to get there. I'll do this way. Show you where the second supply cache note is. Second supply cache note. Come to the Milton School. Walk back here where the tires and the swing and everything else is. Walk back behind the church. And right here. It's stuck in the wall. But right there you will find the second supply cache note. And it... will say... Medicine in my backyard. Susan, the meds I found on my last trip are at my place. Out back. You know the spot. Remember, we have to make these last as long as we can. I know things are bad right now, but please, help me with this. If you get sick again, I don't know what I'll do. T. And once you get that, it'll give you a location. <laughs> Shouldn't fell down the hill. It will give you a location on your map. Oh, I keep going in there for the map. <clears throat> of a house right here in town. Okay, and I'm Pretty sure the house is somewhere, give or take. Uh, but it'll give you a location of a house in town that it'll be right on your map marked, and you can go, you know, pick that up. So right now, what we are going to go do is there's a wolf. There are a lot of rabbits out here in this general vicinity. I'm going to try to stay the hell away from this wolf. I really don't want its attention. I'm going to go out here to Paradise Farms and set up couple snares and see if we can catch us a rabbit. There's Hobbs' blood. Remember we let him live. Rabbits seem to walk through here. And that's all the snares I have. I must have thrown the rest of them away. Now, if I could find a rock, a rock would be really nice. I think this is a rock. It's not a rock. I need a rock or a stone. Let's smack one of these rabbits. There's a deer. Wish I had a bow. Let's smack that deer with a bow. There's a stone. I'm going to equip this 
here. some stones. Some reishi mushrooms. Make some more tea. Worst comes to worst, we will run in the house. The wolf is a long distance away. Oh god, that wolf can smell me. That's amazing. That wolf is right behind the barn. It is like, I am going to kill something. Too much stuff to carry. Hit a wolf with a rock. It'll run. And that wolf is going to kill that caribou. This is working out freaking perfectly. You're going to get away from me here in a minute. I got eight shots with this bad boy. Come on. Oh, yep. We're going to fight with this stupid thing because I didn't remember to reload my damn thing. <laughs> all these up. We are going to I'm gonna need to eat soon. 
quarter this thing up. after that wolf too, but... are hunting me. Let's get into the house. Go see Hobbs. <laughs> So, we are going to eat some, eat some peanut butter. There is nothing to drink. So, need to drop a bunch of stuff. Got a recycled can. I can get some water going. A little bit of water, anyways. Start a fire, get some water. Yeah, they wasted two of my flares, but and they killed a rabbit. I got some rabbits. They killed that deer. Turned out pretty well. So add some fuel. Throw a book on there. Some firewood. I reclaim wood. Cooking slot. Water. Cook. Oh, no, we're gonna check ourselves out since we got attacked. Pain. We'll 
take some painkillers for pain. Those are painkillers. All right. I can't do campfires indoors. That blows. Nineteen minutes will be good. So harvest all the meat off of here. Drink that. If you feel better, don't you? Water, do another harvest. These rabbit carcasses off. Still got a very strong scent. However, still can't sprint. I must be way overweight. Oh, yeah, way over, way overweight. Start a fire right outside and cook some of this meat and get the poundage down because we definitely, yeah, we got to lose this scent because we'll never get back to town. We'll walk and I'll run out of flares before then. All these wolves are coming out of the woodwork.
Well, that didn't work. Fifty-five percent. Some other than reclaimed wood a stick would be better. Damn it. Hmm. Let's go get a stick. I'm sure we can find a stick somewhere. feel like chancing it with this. We need to be better rested. I'd say if we were better rested, we could run even with the weight we have. Because I don't want to leave that deer just laying around. I feel bad. That's what's going to get me. Drop a deer quarter. I don't want to. Drop one quarter. Run in the middle of the night. So, I'm going to run straight out here. Like there are any wolves back tonight.
get back to Great Mothers. So let's quarter up this deer. So, and <clears throat> the third cache is when you go up here, it's in this little house. I was trying to think of that and trying to think, and I finally remember where it was at. Um, when you go up out of town, you come down like you're going to the Orca gas station, and there's this little tiny house up here on the hill all by itself. You have to go up a set of steps. The note is in there on the mattress laying on the floor in the back of the house. That will give you the location that you go back the way you came. So you go up to like Gray Mother's house here, walk down this street here, and you'll climb up exactly where you climb down and you walk up and you go past the radio tower you walk past the radio tower you just go straight and there'll be that cave back there uh, cave that I already it's a cave that I already been in and you've already probably been in too because it just is what it is um, little cave and then you'll find uh <coughs> a rock in the back. It's a blue rock. And that's uh, that's where the stash is at, in that blue rock in the back of the cave. It's really easy to find. And 
what that note says. Cave hidden cash note. I don't trust anyone anymore. People are getting desperate. And it's only been a few days since the power went out. I'm going to stash some supplies in our special place above town. You know, near where we look at the stars together. We may need them before help gets here. Like I said, just climb back up the hill. Um, where you came down. Literally, when you walk out this front door, you turn, walk around the porch. Head that direction. Back that way. And you walk up there, and you'll climb a little tiny spurt, and then just walk up to the radio tower. And the radio tower will be on your right-hand side. And you just keep going. You'll go through a little archway. And just keep going straight, because if you turn left, that'll take you back to where, like, your plane crash and you came in at. You probably already walked past it and found the cave. Or maybe didn't walk to the radio tower, but either way, you pass through that archway. Um, after you get past the radio tower, and you just keep going straight, and there's a little cave back there. And that's where you get that, so... Sixteen to seventy-five. So, pretty much, we are actually we're gonna steal one of those and eat it. ourselves. So, that's pretty much, uh, yeah, what we, uh, what we got going on here. It's just getting the extra supplies, and then I set that one snare out there. <coughs> See if I can find my other snare. Okay, septic, scrap metal, scrap metal. I know I threw my snares away because they were just a waste of space time, but. Set that one out there, so. We, uh. We will see. So, 
those are where the supply caches are in Milton. Um, <clears throat> it's doing the extra supplies for Grey Mother, setting the snares, uh, setting the snare or snares up and with the snares, I'm trying to get rabbits to run through um, the snares, setting them up, trying to get them just like run through the hole and everything. But I'm gonna guess snares usually work as you set them up and you walk away from them and leave them. So I'm gonna guess that probably a timer limit on them where you know they um, will eventually catch them. So. Like I said, uh, the one, the first cache note <clears throat> is in the car. It'll give you the cache. The cache will be up at the church. The second cache note is behind the burnout school in the wall. And it will give you the cache of somewhere here in town behind a house. And the third cache note is on the mattress uh, in this little house right here and you have to go up behind the radio tower in the cave like I said the highway robbery mini uh, quest is when you hit the worker gas station doesn't matter when you'll pick up a little highway robbery note and it will direct you to go clear up here and around and back down to this bridge and it's in the back of that blue pickup so, and like I said, the extra supplies, again, is just getting enough firewood, enough calories um, into Grey Mother's house, or the Milton house, into the Grey Mother house to uh, keep her for the winter. And we set the snare out, and hopefully we'll catch a rabbit, too. So, I'm going to get off here, and I uh, hope that helps a couple people. So, until next time.